Statues removed, government buildings damaged, a state senator attacked, even a Molotov cocktail thrown. All new overnight in downtown Madison. Well, a lot of developments from protests overnight down near the Capitol to get to right away this morning. Josh? Yeah, start with the latest on that breaking news and a live look downtown this morning where protesters caused a lot of damage overnight. I've learned a group of around 300 protesters marched through downtown. Police say as the night carried on, the group entered a private condo building and surrounded a tow truck, forcing the driver to leave it. The group later moved to the square and broke several windows at the city county building before throwing a Molotov cocktail inside. Protesters also tried to break into the Capitol building, causing damage there. Police say they threw chemical spray from inside the building to drive them away. And we do have an update to breaking news. Within the last 10 minutes, I've learned the two iconic statues that usually stand on the Capitol Square are now in the hands of the city after being torn down overnight. Christina Laurie joins us live at the base of where the forward statue statue used to stand. Christina? Josh, one of those statues is the well-known forward statue, which used to stand here behind me, but as you can see this morning, all that's left is that orange cone. The statue, forward, was an icon known by Madisonians and Wisconsins alike as a sign of devotion and progress for women across the state. The statue dates back to 1893 when sculptress Jean Pond Minor finished the piece of art at the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago. You can see that's even written on the plaque at the base of where the statue that you once stood. According to the State Historical Society, Minor was commissioned to create something representative of Wisconsin. She thought forward perfectly embodied the state. Forward was originally put at the east entrance of the state capitol in 1895, but moved to several different locations at the base until it landed at the state street corner. We have new sound in just this half hour from a community activist who we talked to this morning who explains why she thinks the statue needed to come down. We're not moving forward, we're moving backwards. So this don't need to be here until we're ready to move forward. Now we're still working to learn what, if anything, will replace this statue as well as the one on the King Street corner of the Capitol that we showed you in the last half hour of Hans Christian Hegg. We hear that the city has also recovered that statue, as Josh mentioned, although it might have been beheaded. Christina, I know those protesters left around 2.30 this morning. Are there people out and around downtown right now? There's no more protesters out down here, but there are people walking around. We saw several runners go by. The Capitol steps are obviously a popular workout uh, destination in the mornings, but there are people out kind of confused about what's been happening overnight. It's a lot of visible damage for the first time in several weeks. All right, Christina Laurie following the latest breaking news from downtown this morning. Christina, thank you.